Hey, it's Brickzar. It's time to look at another vintage Lego space set from 1981. We have set 6801 Lego Land Space the Moon Buggy. <laughs> Not what I picture a moon buggy being, but it, anyway, it's a little set. I think it has like 22 pieces. It's got the one classic white spaceman. This is 81, so we've gotten away from the sticker torsos. And it's the printed torso with gold printing. And I have one with the gold on it. It has a real good gold print. Let's zoom in on that. Pretty good. So, not a lot to it. We'll take the spaceman off of here. Uh oh. See how I grab him by his head and not his torso, because I don't want to make the uh, torso gold wear off. All right, this is 81, so this is classic light grays. And even though this is a teeny tiny set, you get a lot of special elements. You get the steering wheel, you get the com computer screen, which, think about it, this is 1981. This is 1981 ideas of technology. Not bad. Uh, this little computer panel kind of reminds me of Star Trek, but this is pretty common uh, computer panel. You see it in a lot of sets, either in the gray, the white, or the blue. You get the antenna. You get the little three-sided horn pieces. You get these little uh, handle pieces. You get the dish. You get a Technic piece in there somehow. I think they had to use that to hold the... Um, you couldn't use a regular base plate because you wanted to hold this uh, dish in there. Then you get the radio, which they're always communicating with the radio because it's 1981. They didn't have the radio built into their helmet. And he's got a little um, blaster there. Uh, those things are used from anything from fire hose to blasters to whatever, these little um, pieces here. So... Even though it's only got a few pieces, it's got some cool parts. It's a cool set. You've seen this dude many times. Benny's cousin. So he's on his moon buggy. You know, I think of the moon buggy, I think of um, when they went to the, actually went to the moon and they had the little car they drove on there, that moon car. That was a moon buggy. This is more like a flying moon buggy. And the instructions, I'll just show you that real quick because they do. He, give you alternate models. Uh, you got three in here that they show you that you can build with the pieces. They don't give you instructions how to do it, but you can just look at the pictures. And I think that's good. And then over here we see 1981. So I love the classics and the space theme. Again, I think I've said this a million times, is great. The, the 80s, the late 70s, 80s, um, space theme was great because there were so many of these little sets. Poor kids like me could afford to get one or two of them. So anyway, very cool. Anyway, thanks for watching this review. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And check out my space playlist. I'm going to have a ton of space stuff to review coming up. And I've already reviewed a bunch. There will be more coming. So be sure to subscribe so you see more of these LEGO Space Vintage Classic, whatever you want to call them, set reviews. This is a great time. Thank you.